Asmita Patel and my panel member Renuka Patel. Arinji Patel Institute of Technology has been organizing a webinar series during the to, to benefit of our students, we have honorable expert Dr. Rakesh Aldas. He holds doctoral degree in mathematics from SVNID Surai. He is partner and lead data scientist in firm Nano Enhancer. In this session, he will reflect on an effective technical way of writing reports and PPT violatics. So I request all the student and research resource person to grab the opportunity for effective writing. Now I hand over the session to Dr. Rakesh Das. Thank you so much, Ashmita, ma'am. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Rakesh Das. I did my PhD from SV90. And uh, it gives me an immense pleasure to start with the session today. And I will initially thanks you, Ashmita, ma'am, for giving me this platform. Along with you, I would like to give uh, thanks to your organization for considering me as this uh, person who can take over for this presentation right now. So uh, today, the concept is all about making presentation in such a way that uh, it should look decorative, not just uh, with, uh, you know, just uh, fancy fonts or something which can be just visibly good but a documents a documentation which has a typesetting a documentation which has a proper format of figures tables section subsection and all these things includes in latex because uh, gone are the days when we used to prefer orthodox system of writing things on microsoft office and uh, there happens to be too many consequences when we keep on extending numbers of pages. So we have to set all the time these alignments and page numbers and if the margins and all these things. But the best part about Latex is that Latex gives this opportunity to be free and uh, interactive in such a way that you will feel so useful. Once you put the commands in the initially, you will see that, yes, the execution is very good and sharp. So, uh, this was just a basic about it. Uh, I would like to just start with the PPT. Now, before proceeding with that, uh, this one hour session will be dividing into 30 minutes each. First 30 minutes will be explaining the PPT, what Latex is all about. And the rest of 30 minutes would be all about demonstration, how we can prepare this thing in Latex. And uh, there are certain uh, PPTs which I have made till now. So I will be showing where I represented uh, in the national and international conference, I have back few awards as well. So I will be demonstrating those PPTs as well, how to make it so much uh, beautiful for our work. So I will be starting with my PPT. Okay, so uh, as we know that the title of today's content is an effective technical way of writing reports and PPT via latex. So this is the presentation. And uh, yes, uh, uh, thanks to the organizers once again to give me this opportunity. Uh, this is the format like how it begins. So in our content, we have included what Latex is all about. And besides, uh, you know, there are certain parameters which work for the Latex. And then introduction to Beamer, like how you can create PPT while using Latex. So uh, Latex is pronounced basically Latex, Latex and many different ways and it has been mentioned in wikipedia as well it's basically a computer program which is a typesetting text and mathematical formulas right so uh, you know this uh, latex is all about uh, predefined directories that we used to have in other programming languages such as c programming or let's say matlab right where library file is already generated so in this set of parameter also we have the same kind of things then it uses commands to create mathematical symbols. Let's suppose you want to write something based on multiplication. So slash multi or slash, uh, you know, division. So you have to use backslash and then you have to write that particular uh, symbol. So you will by default get it. It is basically not a WYSIWYG program. That means what you see is what you get. It's not like that. Basically, it is what you want is what you will get. You want that you uh, the program this figure should be allocated on the center part, then it will come likewise. You want that uh, text should finish within this numbers of lines, then it will happen likewise. 
because this is something that we used to give the command so latex will give you this permission to make sure that the freedom that you have of allowing those commands will be fruitful then the document is written as a source file using a markup language like uh, editor we used to have in matlab right and then we used to perform our program at that place and we we, we used to run that and we'll get output accordingly we will have a language based source file where we have to write the basic content over there right and the final document is obtained by compiling the source like other programming languages which we used to compile and run accordingly in latex it happens you need to source uh, you know you used to put that a uh, source file run and then you will get this compiling as in pdf what are the advantages of using latex basically it is a professional type setting and uh, the, uh, this is a platform where you can get best output based on the data or the uh, or the set of articles or theses that you have it will get some set of prerequisites uh, uh type setting values where you can put all those thing in systematic manner it is the standard for scientific documents let's say you wants to write a report you wants to prepare a ppt you wants to write a poster presentation anything it will be based on scientific documents you can easily create it on latex it is basically a processing mathematical and other symbols like there are many such uh, predefined symbols and you just need to understand let's suppose it is lambda so you just need to write backslash l a m d a lambda you will get the symbol likewise and uh, it is basically meaning based structuring rather than appearance so when you will be defining or you will be writing the sections itself you will see that they are set of <coughs> sorry structure that is moving on from section section sub section and then chapter 1 to chapter 2 everything would be on a systematic manner the tree that gets generated as in table of content we don't need to make any changes on that you will get it by default and uh, you know it is too much knowledgeable and helpful use and to be very precise it's free you can get it from online right there are and it is platform independent you can use it on windows you can use it on linux or you can even prefer it on uh, macbook so these are the basic links which you can download it uh, linux with software uh, windows and microsoft basically you need to download two things first of all the editor right and the text live where all sort of packages are in included over there packages that includes fonts then graphics then uh, you know source files which includes many such by default pre uh, defined processors everything so in latex you have to basically download two type of files the first would be the text slide right where where the package manager is located and second is the text editor likewise the same sequence you will get in windows and mac as well so this is what the structure of uh, latex is all about right when ever you are starting you have started writing right you need to define the document class the document class what it includes right and the package suppose you wants to use a different font then you have to define that package suppose suppose you wants to use many figures in one particular content then you have to use that package suppose the equation is too long and you are using chains over there so over there again you have to define the package and in latex whatever goes or come across it happens between begin document and end document every set of commands that we used to write it should come under these two frame like always begin with the black backslash anything that starts with latex is with backslash this symbol you can, basically you can see it right and the document class use package everything is case sensitive suppose if you are writing document class in capital so if you are writing use package in capital it won't work right so you have to make sure you are using case sensitive base letters if it is in small obviously every letters has to be in small when you are defining any package then they are case sensitive it can consist of letters only that uh, in such a way that you cannot include partial of uh, words and partial figures it is not possible in latex it's all about words some have parameters and the square brackets which you saw over here in this slide the square brackets after the command names are optional parameters the curly braces this one curly braces after the command name 
are required for parameters let's suppose you have to define or you want to define an equation right so slash begin equation those content of equation array anything that you want to put in the mainstream of your latex file you have to put it along the curly braces square brackets indicates that what kind of things you wants to include uh, precisely is go it goes with the font size so what happens here the document class as i told earlier that you, you can write article you can write reports you can write book letter thesis right any content that you have right initially on the very first line we have to define it right the first line of all latex documents specifies what it contains if it is an article that means slash document class open brackets close close bracket and then you are mentioning it as article so article means the research paper suppose if it's a report then you can use chapter based work like you used to do report writing chapter 1 contains this chapter 2 contains this likewise so when you are using that you have to make sure that you are using a report in that occasion and suppose book and letters likewise right as i said options options can be used the this options can be used to set font size right you have to define font size initially on the very first line which font size exactly you want let it be 10 11 or 12 point right and even you can mention the page size let it be you want to use uh, one column two column so followed by the point 12 pt comma you have to define if you wants to write it on two column right then most signs publishers springers elsewhere uh, you know i triple e acm sci web world and every all this platform have their own predefined classes let's suppose a research scholar has or a master student who are pursuing their project and they feel that uh, you have to publish a paper in certain journal right so first intention is to go to that journal let's suppose the journal name is jrfs journal of uh, indian fuzzy system right so this is an sca journal right so i have to go on that website i have to download that template and then i can move ahead then use package packages add new features and commands to latex let's suppose a common package name slash use package and then we will put ams math or if you are using ams symbol that means we are using mathematics based symbol in that location or if you are using slash use package curly bracket g r a p h i s x graphics that means you want to include graphics and images over there right and we can also define new commands in the preamble based on our requirement right the body of the text is written after the begin command right so after begin command enter the document content here right so anything that you have you can write in the center part followed by the end document whatever you will write remember after the end document if you are typing anything it won't be included in the content so you have to make sure that you are checking that the end document happens to be the last line of your content right the following is a very basic latex document so over here we have taken a simple example that let us define a document class let us you define a use package and let us proceed with a uh, begin document and end document so how we can write practically on latex so this is how we define on the preamble that is on the editor side and suppose we have written this is some sample text so on the output side on the right hand side you can see this kind of command and this is the output of the same you will get the pdf generated there i will show you all the demos after the session like after 30 minutes first thing you have to indicate the title author of the paper so basically slash title slash author and the date and when you are writing a title you have to make sure that you are writing slash make title if you are not using it then the title won't appear like right? these are the sections of a paper like anything you we have to put up a, we have to put uh, abstracts and keywords and uh, you know so if these things comes in a frame that you want to define abstract so start begin writing with abstract write the abstract between and then end the abstract likewise with the keywords so this is also a thanks giving notes that you can write at the end that slash thanks i want to thanks the university for supporting this work likewise so uh this is again of a doc uh 
sample document where not only a class file is defiled, but there are a couple of packages that we have used. We have also used title, author, date, and we also use the abstract. Right? This is the proper way of writing an article. Is very basic right now, right? So in this basic section, we have initially defined the document class. We have used the use package. We have used the begin document and end document, to which we have everything in sequential order. Let it be title, author, and the date, abstract, right? Section, and there's a couple of sections and subsections we have taken. So once we use this thing editor, we will get this kind of output. This is the output, right? This is the title. This is the author. This is the date. This is the abstract. This begins with the first introduction, right? Introduction and the content, what is time and space. Then the second section, that is the theory. Time and space are linked. And last, subsection 2.1. So you can see how beautifully it comes in order. We don't need to define one as introduction, two as theory, 2.1 as proof. If you are using section, it will by default take it in order. That introduction was the first section, so it will take one, followed by the theory, and then the rest of the subsections. Wait. Okay. Then cross-referencing. Suppose you want to put a label or a reference to that particular content. Right? So you can use this label slash label and the slash reference part. Right, so these are basically our, and uh, you know it automatically updates. Suppose uh, you have used first reference on section 1.1, and then you have used the second uh, reference on 2.3. So LaTeX will by default keep on updating the references. We don't need to bother about the fact that what, which was the first one, which was the second one. Right, it is possible to use an identifier as a label. So suppose you want to write a section, uh, this slash section. So, so section is about introduction. Let's suppose you have many sections. So if it is 2.1.1, even you can put your own assigned name over there. So that is totally feasible. Then uh, how to include tables in LaTeX, right? So this is a basic example that we have considered right now, right? So after the section, this always comes between begin document and end document. So suppose we are including table right now, right? To define a table, we should have numbers of columns and rows aligned. Then we should also have a caption along with that, right? So when I'm defining a table, I'm using the reference that it is a table of an example, right? I will begin with the table. I will assign and caption, right? I will label it again. And then I have used the centering part. So once I am writing slash centering, that means the logo, uh, the table will come from the center itself. So over here, you can see there are begin tabular, then there are two columns basically, right? So along with these two columns, the, the center part, you can see these are the values, the C, which you can see, you are, you are inputting your data over there and followed by this particular three lines. That means they are the borders of the table. Right, and we are writing H line. H line that means that is giving a horizontal line. So it will give a horizontal line below student and grade. So you can see this line, and then student and grade is there. Right, the center part what you see that happens to be this one. So you don't need to put every time. You just have to mention and as a divider between two particular tables. Right, so. Horizontal line again after the student and grade, a horizontal line, 12, 13, a horizontal line, and then we are ending the tabular followed by the end table. So, this is how they, uh, in LaTeX we used to generate table. Suppose we have to find, a, uh, we have to uh, put a figure that we are using graphics over there, right? So, initially we have defined slash use package graphics there, right? So, we'll start begin with uh, begin figure and end figure. It was a table, so begin table, end table. This is a figure, so begin figure, end figure, likewise. So I want to put a figure that has to be in the center, right? And it should have a certain set of a width and dimensions of that. So how we can write slash include graphics, the width of that particular figure, that is 2.5 centimeter we have considered, and the Mona Lisa JPG. This file has to be, suppose the file over here is on particular folder. So before Mona Lisa dot 
jpe jpg we have to write dot slash particular folder and the location of image or if you're writing this uh, if you're putting this image on the main directory then you can write simple like this then you have to put a caption label and again we have to end the figure so once you write this thing you will get figure on this content right when you are defining the table there are cert certain uh, things that you have to consider right because uh, based on the figure latex will take an alignment if you have not defined anything let's suppose if you are defining let's suppose slash begin options right what options that you want the figure on the top of the page so yeah over here you can write t so slash begin figure t right so once you write this thing the particular figure will come on the top of the page or you want that a figure should come after this paragraph only right so you have to write h over here in place of options h and h factorial also you can write together so uh writing h factorial that is second and third means you are putting the figure here and compiler is basically deciding it right when any combination can be used so it depends upon the users that is precisely what we want we want the figure should come on the top then basically it's t or if you want to figure that it should come after this particular line or paragraph then it will be h factorial likewise right the compiler tries its best to fulfill your wish right but it's not necessary sometimes the alignment of figure then you have to size change the side of the figure and then you can put an alignment but based on the requirement you have to set everything let's talk about mathematical equations how you can write over there right latex is extremely good at type setting math equations right if suppose the equations are 2 to 3 page long right still you can write this thing so latex is extremely good at type setting math equations equations are written as text basically and the inline equations are written between two dollar signs in latex whichever equations you are writing you have to make sure that you are putting between two dollars the for the dollar here and here you can see the content is within that right so i want to write slash alpha so slash alpha into x plus slash beta into y is equal to one so if i am putting this code on my editor right i am getting the output as alpha x plus beta y equals to 1 right then equations on a separate line are enclosed between this let's suppose that uh, if it's instead of uh, you know dollar sign even you can use these kind of symbols initially you have to write this and you have to close that bracket with this right and uh, this is another way of writing the equation. Let's suppose we want to write this equation within begin equation and end equation. That means I don't want to use, uh, you know, dollar sign anyhow, right? And I want the equation number here. So what I will do is I will begin the equation slash begin equation. I will label that and I will write the equation what I wrote earlier, excluding those dollar signs, right? So if I will be putting this content, I will get the output as alpha x plus beta y is equal to 1. So you can see the equation is already labeled as the equation number 1, right? I am not putting any equation numbers over here, right? But still in output we are getting because we are defining an equation, right? Latex see these parameters and uh, there's a difference between the numbers of equations that you want and if you don't want, right? Suppose you don't want this equation number. So you can use slash begin star equation and slash end star equation, right? So if you're using this star mark between that, you will see that there's no no equation number. I'm just giving you for your reference. And uh, this is another way, like uh, to refer a numbered equation, use the command slash e q r e phi. The equation reference are updated automatically, right? I just want to label that equation like I am using by using equation one. So in the PM, uh, in the editor side, we are not writing equation one, right? Rather, what we are writing is we are labeling that by using equation slash eq re phi, right? And we are labeling the equation that we have mentioned as equation one. That was my equation. This over here we have labeled, right? on the previous sl uh, slide. 
So this equation we have labeled here. So we are getting by using equation one, right? So we don't need to worry about the fact that which equation was labeled where. We just need to make sure that we are writing exact equations label name, right? Numbers are latex uh, headache to worry about it. We don't need to bother about that. And then using graphical equations editor. The best way to write an equation is to write it directly as text, right? It is faster and you have more control. Right. There are many cross platforms to which we can use our uh, equations directly on the latex. Let's suppose we used to have huge and large equations. So we used to follow math type over here. There's a software known as math type. You can uh, get all the symbols there. You just need to select that, right? Write the equation and you can simply copy paste on <coughs> latex. Sorry. Introduction to Beamer. So this is basically I have explained about uh, several segments of how you, you can write, uh, you know, figure, you can include table, you can include, uh, you know, equations. So right now we are beginning with the Beamer. What is Beamer basically? It is a type, uh, is, it is a flexible latex class for making slides and presentation. Like we used to uh, have Microsoft PowerPoint, right? So Microsoft have Microsoft Word, PowerPoint. Likewise, Latex has their own way of writing the content. We can have a different platform where you can write article. We can also have a different platform where you can define the your PPT. So when you are about to create a PPT, we are using Beamer on that occasion. It supports functionality for making PDF slides complete with color, themes, transitions, overlays, etc. The best part about Latex is that, like the presentation right now is going on, it is also on Latex, but I have kept it simple. I will show you which kind of transitions, overlays, and you know themes we can use. Right? The it uh, overall, Beamer will help you make your content so amazing that you will get maximum confidence when you are giving your presentation. Adds a couple of new features to the command already you know about Latex. This presentation was made using the Beamer class, as I said. Why using Latex for presentation? It helps us to create a professional slide, right? Nowadays, it is not just a trend, but uh, every organization has made this thing compulsory that we have to use presentation based on Latex, right? So uh, processing mathematical and other symbols, then you can uh, care about the content and not about how the slides look. A lot of templates are available for download. It is again free of cost. And then you will get, there are many communities and forums where you are getting errors. You will you can directly copy that error and then you can put it on Google. You will get the help from that place itself. Then it, it is easy to prepare handouts. It, it, it is very easy that to, to put the handouts, uh, you know, with the base of certain commands. So I believe that uh, Creating a presentation based on latex is very good, provided we have to start with the basic to get this knowledge. Right? There are certain packages which you can use, and those packages, uh, you know, you can write as in command app to get install latex beamer, right? Or you can download it from this website, bitpocket.org. At Mac, whomsoever are using, they will already have it. So how you can define uh, title slides right, in particular segments. So previously it was about uh, documentation. Now it is about PPT. So when you are using PPT, we have to make sure that same kind of format we are using, but we are using it as in slides now, right? So when you are using our slides, you have to initially again go with the document class in the type of graphics that we have used. That is just a uh, package over here we have used. There are N numbers of packages to make your content more lucrative and it should look Way, uh, you know, way too interesting for the opposite person as well. So you can define whatever you want over there. Then we have used the Warsaw theme, right? Then the title, it is Introduction to Beamer, How to Make a Presentation with Latex. I have put this thing in title. I have used my name as an author. Uh, the next ID, that's my department. Then date, right? So these are the things which we need to predefine before starting the document, right? So if once I'm starting the document, the very first thing I need to do is that insert the first slide containing the title of the presentation, right? So begin frame and end frame. In PPT, when we are preparing latex-based 
presentation, everything happens between begin frame and end frame. So this portion completely right now, what we can see is a frame. We have to assign every content between begin frame and end frame. Let it be titles or subtitles or basically the equations, the figures, everything has to be under begin frame and end frame, right? At the least of environment between the command, right? You can use different, different uh, environments over here, right? Let's suppose I want to write uh, points based uh, content which I have. So I will itemize that content. So we can use slash begin itemize and end itemize, right? This is the first point. This is the second point. So slash item, that means it will itemize the content. So you can see on the uh, output portion, this is how it will come in output once you write this basic thing, right? Accordingly, you can use pause as well. Suppose we are using slash pause in the same content. If we are using pause, then as soon as you begin with the items, first item, let's say we have started and, and then, uh, you know, then we're using slash pause, then it will take a break. Then you can write the second item and then again slash pause. Third item, pause. So how the output will be here, you can see over here basically. So this is the first point, then we have got the break and the second point, right? So this way it keeps on progressing. Suppose you want numbers in the content instead of those itemized box. Right, I want a number, so we can write within enumerate and in enumerate. Right, again the same way the slash item. Right, so the output will be this is the first point, second point with numbers. Again, we can use pause over here. So one, two, likewise. Right, and even if you want to define point base over here, right. So uh, this is the first point, second point, and the third point. Even we can use the content in this way. Right. The method works for both bullet and numbers list basically, right? So numbers, if you're using it, or if you are not using uh, enumerate, so you can define your own number as well. How to add a text area? It, it is useful if you need an addition, a defini add a definition, for example. And uh, we can define our definition in this content. So uh, begin block and end block. So you can see blue color right it is right now creating a block for us the content within begin block and end block shows what definition of which content we want to write but we have not written anything that we wants to write a block on a blue color or something like that latex will by default create a block for you to which you can define the first line that what content it should have and the and the sub part of the particular content on that uh, portion of write the definition here now, suppose you want to uh, find out the graph and you want that within this equation, you will have this kind of plot, right? So if you want to uh, display this equation, we can, uh, you know, put this parameter as in this way, right? Initially, we have to begin with the frame, dividing the slides into two parts. You can see the first part, which it contains an equation and the second part, which it contains a figure, right? So we have defined these two things. So within two columns, you have set a text width size of 0.5, right? So it will define a typical space between text and the equation itself, right? So here is the displayed equation and the equation. So that happens to be the first line. Here is the displayed equation and the equation, right? And then on the second column, we have included include graphics, right? To which we have defined length and width of this particular figure right for this figure that we have to define this height and the width of that so that latex will understand this is the output that you want so this is about uh, the presentations uh, precisely so i will right now show you a certain demo where we have uh, created this thing uh, latex is about something which we need to uh, perform practically right so uh, as in this is a session that uh, you know uh, parallelly, this thing is not going on. The students will back and perform. So I will show some demo on a very basic note and then students can practice accordingly. So I will switch over to Latex right now. So this is the demo that I have created, right? Uh, this is the place where Latex used to get defined. 
on the white portion where I have written certain set of uh, you know datas over here. These are the editor parts, right? Over here, you can see that I have defined a document class, and then I have re I'm using this as an article, right? Whatever I'm writing, it has to be within begin document and end document, right? So suppose I'm defining this thing, right? So I just want to press hello world over here, right? So I will see what I will look for the output for this particular program. So either you can use quick build, right? This arrow to get the display. Wait, I'm not defining the chapter here. Okay. So this is how it runs, right? On the right hand side, you can observe the PDF is generated, right? And hello world is printed here. Right? You can write anything between that. You suppose you're defining an equation that I have shown you earlier, right? So uh, see the fact that if you are using begin equation and end equation, right? So you have to make sure that these blue colors of this particular uh, content should be matching. Suppose this blue color is not matching with that. Suppose we have used something different, so it will come in this way, right? So once the document is begin, we have to make sure we are ending after the particular work is done. So I'm running it again. And once we are running it, okay, I need to use uh, begin. And don't I should not use dollar sign here because it is already in the equation. So this is how the error used to come. I intentionally wrote the uh, the dollar sign between so that you can see this red portion, right? It is showing an error. Line number five display match should end with double dollars, right? Line number five missing dollar inserted, right? It is showing that once you are using slash begin equation and end equation, you should not use dollar sign, right? So now I will run it. Even you can use function plus F1 from your keyboard as in shortcut, right? So I have run this thing right now and you can see this as in display, right? I've not put any mathematical symbols. I'll just show you how equation comes in the display, right? So this is how it used to refer here. Suppose I don't want this equation number one. So I will put a star mark here. So the format has changed, you can see. And once we are using star mark in this equation, okay, so, and then we are going to use this dollar. Okay. So what we can observe here is that we have mentioned the equation, right? And you won't see the equation number here though we have begin with the equation, right? But why, if you are using star mark, then you won't see the equation number here. So likewise, likewise we can create a document. Now I will show you some demo, which uh, we can create a research paper. So sorry, I'm just uh, failing up right now. So this is one of my paper which I have uh, created uh, and uh, this is a SCI based journal, right? And they have certain set of, uh, you know, there is a, there, there's an environment where they used to define that, right? So suppose the document class, they have their file name as ISO R2C. Likewise, there are several packages you can see that we have defined, right? Even you can set the column type, the first page, the last page, the volume number, the publication number, Right, these things we have there is already predefined in that uh, template. We have to make sure which we are and these things we have to mention. That right? even we have used several packages like float, and there are many uh, figures, right? So we have to mention float as a package. So uh, when you are using float uh, by default, you are using figure. That means you have to also include graphics. Then you have fonts, as I told you earlier, AMS math and AMS. Uh, you know, these are the mathematical symbol based fonts, right? So it won't give you any error. Then you also use a uh, different color packages, right? Then AMS font hyper. And then there are different, different set of 
you know packages even we can define our own new commands like tab h space so whenever you are writing slash h space 2em then it will leave a space for tab the portion mentioned above is about uh, what kind of execution it is taking right so you can see the begin document and end document right this is the begin document and then it ends here you can see i have not written anything below end document right so the structure on the right hand uh, left hand side you can see right it starts with the introduction so suppose you are roaming on certain uh, particular line and if you feel that you have to reach on some section so go on the right uh, left hand panel and you will see the structure is defined here i want to directly go on the assumptions and notations so i will click on this section so it will take me to this place right i want to go on model number 2 so you can directly click that right so this is how section wise all the contents we can include so you can see the equation size over here right that we have mentioned you want the equation in small you want to say want, uh, want the equation to fit on the criteria of this paper and uh, our paper right now contains two column basically right so this is how the format we have aligned i will show you how it works so we have to run it here so on the right hand side you can see the output in the pdf format over here you can see that execution is going on right until and unless there is no error you will see there is nothing in the red portion right this blue lines is just a warning right then there is nothing to worry about let it be warning or bad box we don't need to bother about this fact but if the content is in red line that means they are error and you have to solve it only after that it will learn so you can see this is how we have defined our paper right it uh, begins with the title and then uh, the people involved in the paper along with the affiliation abstract introduction uh, equations theorems you can see there are th uh, systematic order of everything you won't see anything that is going outside or out of box in in content even the large equations that we have used here it is also coming in the mainstream right so the beauty of latex is all about this even it uses uh, you know hyperlink suppose fuzzy rough variable if i click on 17 number it will get you me to the reference number where i have cited right so this is very important and even uh, from the figures if you want to see the explanation that you are on the discussion part so from figure 3 4 5 6 so, so where is figure number 6 if i want to locate i just need to press over here right it will take me to figure number 6 this is figure number 6 right likewise i just want to go on the table number 5 so i need to click here so it will take me to table number 5 this is how latex use the uh, you know tables and everything you can see so systematically it approves you don't need to worry about how this things are moving you just need to make sure where you need to assign this i will show you how this uh, figures we have uh, tables we have created so this is the huge table we have right now with us these are the values that we have considered the values on the right hand side that is been given input on the left hand side like this so this is how our presentation goes around and i have shown you uh, something which is based on report writing this is an article or the research paper that we used to write right now i will show you some a uh, theme which is based on ppt that we used to create on latex so this is a document class right as we saw the document class in the report likewise it is in beamer right we are defining the packages here right i have used the theme of progress bar right and there are certain set of parameters in input that i want so geometrical shapes i want uh, shapes in miscellaneous way and then i want uh, templates which is based on bibliography item then i have used the package of title frame so i have wrote the title right and then i have include the title frame i have included over here you can see on the left hand side right in this title content we have defined everything within begin frame and end frame the title of the paper then who is giving this presentation what is this topic uh, topic is all about who is the author the designation everything comes here right this is how 
you will see that we were on this pre ms file right and uh, when you clicked on the title it will redirect to the sub file of that main file right so from title you can do a lot of changes that you want right so we'll go again to the main file likewise we we'll use introduction section and everything this type of symbol if you see that means you have included a different file but when you see s something like that right that means you just use the section on the main folder right so i have used a theme which is based on uh, transitions right after one table will uh, appear the uh, rest of the portion will hide uh, itself so let me show you the output how it runs it takes time because you have used many packages that are predefined to a set of parameters that we are using it so you can see over here it is running right now right so uh, i will show you the output how you will get it i uh, just hold for a few because uh, it contains more slides and transitions so it is taking time right now but uh, maximum it will take uh, 30 seconds maximum okay so the process exit exited normally that means there is no error here right this is the content that we have defined so if you wants to uh, see it as an external viewer you can click it here right so i have clicked on the external source and uh, this is the presentation that i have gave back in 2016 where i backed a young scientist award based on that so uh, you can see how this kind of output is to have and this is the output right so that was the uh, ppt that we performed this is how you can generate it so you can see how beautifully you can organize it right and uh, you, uh, you can put the figures over here this is the title of the place uh, you know coniaps uh, is basically an um, international conference where it used to provide young scientists award to the researchers and it was uh, uh, organized uh, in uh, nainital kumar university so this is how we have created the content this is the title page and then this is the outline of the content you can see what are the parameters that you wants to include you can basically get it here right you can see a uh, arrow as well that is going on right now below right we have 39 slides right now we are on the second slide so you will see this arrow is also moving parallelly along with the slides that is going on right so even you can put uh, directly click on uh, any sections that you want to go initially suppose i want to go on the section number 5 so i just need to click on that and it will be directly re relocating me to this place right so this is how you can create a beautiful presentation right i have used our svnit's logo here this is the title this is the subtitle and then we have the keywords i have used the literature survey of our content in this format literature survey is very typical and it is too much uh, space consuming whenever we are mentioning in ppt so we can also write in the table format so i have created accordingly right and uh, likewise we can move ahead this was about introduction and the literature survey that we have and the assumptions the parameters right and uh, these are certain hypotheses that we have solved and this is a basic model right how you can include your figure in this way right and the equations of that particular one so uh, these are the equations and then we solved it right and we have used genetic algorithm to perform the experiment and uh, we have got this beautiful results based on that so these are the results right so look you can see there are so many values but you can still include beautifully and systematically on latex right so all those codes and the tables values that i showed uh, you will get this kind of output here this is how we can include figure in the and the conclusion and this is the reference format that we have assigned right so this is how we can create a ppt based on beamer of latex and that was something which i showed uh, you know based on the Uh, report writing as this was uh, the, uh, this was one of the award that we got back in 2016 accordingly we have another paper 
uh, that was published in Forced. And uh, even here, I got a Best Paper Presentation Award. You can see a different format of PPT over here. Over here, you can see that on the extreme left-hand side, there are certain values or uh, the sections that we are using, you can see on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you can see our content. And there's something which is going on that is uh, the bar is set below to which the if the slides keeps on progressing, you will see something which is coming on the blue line over here, right? So this is again an attractive way to write your content, right? And uh, I have used this theme and there are n numbers of themes to which we can create our own as well. So likewise, I have created my own by doing some sort of R&D and trial and error. So this is how you can again define, you can use this kind of pause in the PPTs. So this is how it beautifully looks. Uh, you know, I have used this thing. And uh, this is how uh, pause by pause, section by section, you can see this effect, right? I'm on the section two right now. So I, what I did, I have hide the rest of the section. So it looks so beautiful that, uh, you know, we have nine sections, but right now I'm proceeding with model presentation section number two. So rest of the sections are already hidden, right? So likewise, you can move. So now we are on section number three. So section two is uh, hidden right now. So likewise, we can use this kind of, uh, you know, formats and displays and graphics to create different, different themes over here. And, uh, this is how a different set, you can see this bar is progressing and it will reach to end once we are done with the presentation. So these are the parameters and, uh, you know, uh, even uh, research paper, we can on the single, the, the research paper that I showed you earlier, that was based on two columns. This is single column based paper, the same content, right? The best part about latex is that this is a report right now, right? The report which you have written already in latex, you can use those equations, those tables, those content, everything to use it on Beamer presentation. So this was the paper to which we have created presentation over there in Beamer, right? So this is the connection that we used to have about uh, introducing report writing and uh, you know uh, based on ppts so this uh, so i just want to say that uh, the session was about uh, introducing the contents to which we have set of uh, you know good things that we want to put and uh, nowadays the trend is all about moving to a scientific era where things are accepted on an advanced level so uh, so the most important factor is that we should be well organized in uh, itself to make sure that our pattern, our system, our PPT, everything looks organized and well. Uh, and uh, the report writing, if it is about, uh, right, you have to set all sort of uh, text uh, live format. This is everything that it takes. And once again, going here, right, uh, you know, this is a file section, right? You can create new file, right? Suppose I want to create a new file. It will come as an editor on this mode here, right? So whichever things which we wrote earlier, you can start writing likewise. Suppose you want to open some file, you want to save something, right? You have to save a copy. Everything is available in file. Then even you can cut, copy, paste, and put all those things, which basics which we used to have in Word, everything is available here. Then there are certain tools. Now, these things are very important, right? when you see a folder where you have to save that file that suppose i will show you right uh, so the folder that i showed you right now the theme it was based on this so this is how the folders get assigned right all the figures i have called on one particular folder so these are all the figures that are included there right so we can save it on one folder figure images whatever name you can give right and then include this include contains the sections that we have used. We, we have used chapters separately. We have used conclusion and future work separately. We have used references separately and we have used title separately. So everything is included here. And the rest of the figures and some parameters like NAV file, output file, 
auxiliary file, style file. Style file, that means uh, uh, that particular theme contains a style file where there are certain set of parameters which is already included there, right? So uh, those things which you saw right now in tools can be, uh, can be uh, you know, seen on that main directory. Then Latex has all short of, uh, you know, packages and then contents and quotes, how we have to write, everything is, you can define here. And the equations, uh, math equations, basically. So cos theta, sine theta, math symbols, and uh, everything can be mentioned from here. Then wizard. This is very important. Let's suppose you just want to create a Beamer-based presentation very quickly, right? So I will use quick Beamer presentation, right? So over here, you will get n numbers of, uh, you know, themes right now. So what you see on the right hand side right now is basically a very simple way of creating theme on a very short notice, right? We are using Warsaw theme, you are using uh, 11 point and then we are using the font as UC, UTF-8. You can write your author name, title name here and what kind of packages that you want to use. Suppose Babel packages, then we used to use, used to have English as a major, and AMS and graphic packages. That means there are certain packages which are predefined if you want to use that, so you can take it here, right? So once you press OK, you will get this theme directly on fractions of seconds. So likewise, there are many other themes which you can select. I will just, we just need to scroll down them, right? It will, uh, you can put, uh, use the arrow of your, uh, uh, you know, keyboard so that it will show you which kind of theme you actually want. Suppose I want a theme which is based on the theme which I have created that is one of the part of this basic, uh, you know, Beamer based themes, but we have made many uh, R&D on that. So we'll get something different. So let's suppose we are using Cambridge US based theme, right? So we'll just press OK here. So you can see everything comes as in defined document class, the theme that we assigned that was Cambridge US. In the packages that we use, that was graphics, AMS symbol, right? We wrote something as in begin document and not end document. Let's uh, suppose we want to use this content. So we will use control U to remove the, when you will see this percentage symbol here, right? That means that is put in, in command where it is not used, right? So suppose when you are removing it, you will see that uh, those contents comes in the main color, right? The existing one rather than the black plane. And uh, before running, uh, you can see there's something untitled tools. That means it is not saved here, right? So first of all, we need to save that. So we'll go with control S, right? Control S is what we used to save it. So suppose in desktop, I want to create a folder first because there will be many sub files in between. So we don't want to lose those files and we just want them to get allocated in one particular folder. So I am creating a temp file right now, right, temp folder. And in this temp folder, I will name the latex file here, that is tem.tex, right? When you save any file, you have to make sure that you are writing the extension of that. Support, suppose you also save this latex file, then it should be .tex, right, the text file. Suppose you want to use a bibliography, then it should be tem.pib. Suppose you want to write, uh, you know, the style file or the class file that you want to define. So whatever it is, you just need to mention the text, uh, you know, the extension accordingly. So I am saving right now. So you can see on the very first line, document C users Dell desktop temp folder and temp file. Now you will run that. So it is running here. You can see the process is started. Look, it is showing some error, right? So what's the error? Error is too many end frames. So we, have to, we can check it, right? This is the end frame and it starts here and this orange line indicates where it starts and where it ends. For this content particularly, we have not started, but we have ended the frame. That's why it is showing there are too many end frames. So we just need to highlight that. We have to remove the it from the command. So 
So this is how uh, you know basically we can create, and now you will get the output. On the right hand side, you can see the output right now. This is how it creates, right? You can see all the colors, dates, and everything by default it is taking what we have to define here, right? So this is all about latex presentation, right? And I would like to uh, I would like to give a workshop based on that where students would be sitting in, uh, next to us, and it will be too much helpful that they are using laptop back to back and if I'm performing something, even they are doing the same thing so that they will feel it actually. Uh, tomorrow, today's session was all about showing you the demo part and uh, it eventually let me feel uh, so happy to be part of this presentation. And thank you once again, Ashmita ma'am and the mm -hmm. organizers to give me this platform. So uh, yes, ma'am, I'm done with the presentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Best text editor for beginners. Best text editor for beginners. Text editor. See, ma'am, uh, on this particular place, right? Uh, you can uh, text editor is this place where you used to uh, write everything. So, text editor. If you are using Windows, then you can get this thing. Right, and uh, if he wants to go with any manual, or he wants to get certain documents based on LaTeX, then we have LaTeX Reference, LaTeX Wiki Book, User Manual, and there are many websites that they used to provide basic details. So if you just download the LaTeX Wiki Book and Reference, you can get all sort of uh, uh, you know uh, parameters that we want. Okay, and next question by another viewer: How to use watermark in LaTeX? Watermark is basically, uh, you know, we have to define that in package over here, slash use watermark, and uh, you have to make sure that content has uh, those equals. But uh, generally, uh, we are not using watermark more in the you know presentations. But if you want to use it, we have to put a package first of all, and then we have to use like watermark symbol over here, and then we can get it. Everything is all about uh, you know searching it. And then you have to put on that assigned value, so you will get it. Okay, sir. And one more, one last question: How to import data from Excel table into LaTeX? Okay, so uh, we can copy paste that. So you know there are cross platforms online available as well, and uh, even you can use uh, go on to uh, you know Visa and then pick tabular. You can see there are n numbers of uh, rows and columns available here. Right, you can create your own Excel sheet, or you can put your value here, or even you can import the LaTeX file, uh, you know, Excel sheet file. And uh, there are cross platform which I said where you can use your LaTeX file there, uh, Excel file there, and it will uh, you know transfer it to LaTeX file, and you can just copy paste that. So I will give you certain websites name, and to which you can easily create the the table that I showed you, which I have used. Right, I have not typed uh, one by one everything. Uh, I just want to go on to one of the paper. Uh, let's suppose uh, this is the table. You can see there are so many values, so it's not easy that to type on that. So I have used an online platform, a source editor, where I have used this uh, you know Excel sheet which converted that into LaTeX, and I got it output. I will give some reference link if you want, uh, so I can provide it now. Uh, one more question is raised up. Can we import other templates which is not default in LaTeX? Yeah, of course. We can create our own template and we can define the pre existing ones. Like what I showed you about the presentations for the, or the awards based or PPT that I've got, everything is something that we have made hybrid, right? Basic but we can keep on extending it we can create a new style file we can create our own uh, you know set of do uh, document class over there so yes we can do whatever r and d we want okay and one last question uh, can we draw flow chart in later yeah like the flow chart which we used to have on matlab same kind of structure and execution of those editor of matlab can be used in latex as well 
you for this and before concluding uh, any other questions okay fine so on, for this wonderful session i thank you, thank you dr so much, rakesh sir. das sir thank you all so the much, students sir. research scholar and academic institution have really acknowledged the writing technique skills from you and from this oh, webinar thank you so much, i thank principal of our college dr latesh b choudhary sir head of the department and management of the college for providing us such an excellent platform so that we can enrich all the participants and special thanks to all the viewers for this question answer sessions so that we had a very good conversation and more knowledge on this topic thank you, thank you so much for giving this opportunity and ashmika ma'am thanks once again consider for this platform thank you